going on YouTube? Check my life here again. Today I'm about what's no billing. Well, no billing is, you might have seen a couple of my videos where I show up to the rail. I'm like, man, ain't no billing on this box. I'm sitting in a problem area. I know you know, I know, you know that. You're familiar with that if you're watching my videos. No billing is when you get to the box, you get to the rail yard, and um, they, the rail yard can't take your trailer or your container because your company didn't do a way billing. It's called way billing. What that means is when you pick up a, a load or empty, because you can build an empty too. When you pick an empty up or a load, I'm just gonna talk about a load. I ain't finna get all detail, all, all too technical. When you pick up a load from a customer or from a drop yard from an outside source and you bring it into the real yard, you have to have what you call billing. That box have to be billed. That's equivalent to us pulling a load with no bill of ladens. You know, we can stop by DOT or state police or law enforcement. We ain't got no papers on that box we pulling. You know that means problems. So same thing with the rail yard. They can't put this, they can't put their boxes on that train and move it unless they got billed for it. They got bills for it. Which might bring you to another question, right? What is billing? How do you bill one of them? Well, I don't know how you bill it, but I know what they need to bill it. I can go over that. And this for me, for me dealing with no billing so long, I realized something. When you lead a customer, you let your company know the place it's coming from, where it's going to, what's the weight, what's the piece count, and the trailer number. They need all of that to make sure they're able to build it right. I don't care if they got all of it in their system. I go over it with them. I even irritated some of them, like, man, we already got that, we don't need all that. Just send me the pieces and the weight. I'm like, no, make sure the trailer number right. Because there's been times where I put it to the rail, it was the same, let's say the trailer number, one, two, three, four, five, five, right? One, two, three, four, five, five. Two fives. They'll put in one, two, three, four, five. They missed the five. Or they put in one, three, four, five, five. Then one of them numbers is off, that box is not built. So if that box is not built, you guessed it, you got problems because you go into the problem area. It's just that simple. So in order to kind of prevent this, you ain't gonna do so much with this because you're not actually able to build, to build it yourself. You have to depend on your carrier to build, to the build it. Unless you, uh, uh, unless you're a carrier yourself, then you can build it yourself. You, then it's obsolete. It ain't obsolete. You still gotta learn how to build it. Build your boxes and make sure the pieces weight to and from and an exact trailer number. Oh, on, guys. I'm gonna hope you'll be coming over here, man. But anyway, you want to confirm every single number. So this is what I do to uh, make sure that my stuff is built. Before I leave the customer, I send billing there, either on a Qualcomm or a text message, or even just on the phone. That all the numbers are in, all the numbers, like um, every trailer number. Go go over every trailer, every single digit on that trailer number, so that they know. Because if you if you don't, they have a lot of stuff going on in the office. You may send billing on when you leave a customer or wherever you're coming from. And then the people that's supposed to bill it might forget. They have so much stuff going on. So halfway in the trip, I send a friendly reminder. I'll give them a courtesy call. Hey, man, I'm on a confirmed billing. X amount of X, Y, Z. These are the trailer numbers. Make sure that's bill right. They say, yeah. They say, no. Nah. Some people have an attitude. It ain't personal. It's just business. Remember that. Man, that's how, that's how you kind of could prevent the no billing issue, you know what I'm saying? You can't do it 100% because people are human beings, man. And human beings mess up from time to time. It happens. But if you can prevent it by hounding, I ain't gonna say hound them, but let them know, hey man, you mean business. Make sure this is bill right, so that way, you know, I could get in and get out with no problems. That's all I wanna do, man. Anything else outside of that, Ain't gonna do it with me, it ain't personal. I would not be calling your phone, I would not be texting your phone. I, won't, I wouldn't be sending a message in the Qualcomm to you if I didn't need to, and it ain't personal. So that's what no billing is. When a box ain't built in the rail system for them, for them to be able to put it on the train and move it. They have to have it built like we have to have bill of ladies for our loads, or J1s, or some type of document stating that, look, this box, this box belongs to us, I signed for it, I'm obligated to it because it's mad. 
You gotta remember that. And I'm gonna do another video too about other trucking stuff, about bill of ladings when you sign for loads. And you leave that lot, that baby yours. That's your baby. So you gotta do anything you gotta do to get it where it gotta go. But if you don't, it's gonna be on you either way it go. But that's another video. That's what no building is. Somebody dropped the ball, you dropped the ball, or somebody made a mistake. Whereas, you know, it cost you time because they didn't put the building in. And the rail yards didn't get the building in time, so therefore, you know, that means you got problems, pretty much, until they get it straight. And building could take anywhere from 30 minutes to hours to three hours to get built. What they doing during that time period? I don't know. I've sat as long as four hours waiting on building. And the only reason I stay so long because it'll cost me more time trying to run to different yards during rush hour than for me to sit there and not waste as much fuel. That's the only reason I sat there. But it took four hours. If building takes too long and I'm, I'm near a drop yard, I'm getting rid of that load, man. I'm going home. That's y'all, baby. I did my job. I got rid of it. I picked it up. And um, that's y'all, baby, now. But anyway, that's another story. All right, guys. I hope this video was helpful, insightful, and educational at the same time. In case I'm understanding about what that is when I say I got no building going on, or you may have no building in the future, you'll know what's going really, what's, what's really going on around that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't tell you stuff. They go, oh, oh, we'll fix it. We'll, we'll take care of it. You be sitting there wasting all your time. But anyway, see you guys in the next video. Peace.